Okay, lakin naha qismani. Here we go. The text goes, wa thani idghamun bi sittatin atat fi yarmaluna indahum qad thabatat. That's the same point we just went over here. And again, this text, I'm saying it over and over again for people to memorize it. It's not cool not to memorize. Those who do not memorize are making a big mistake. Those people who think they cannot memorize, somebody recite to me hickory dickory dock. Yeah, you memorize that, right? And that has no benefit whatsoever. You can't do anything with that. Here's something you can have benefit with. Actually, I'm not going to put this on the board for, t for t um, time purposes. The next rule, the first rule was idhar. Right? Now the second line, or the second part comes, So the first rule is idhar. The second rule is idram. With regards to what? Noon is second. So I'm going to put a noon here and tanween. Just so we can see what we're talking about here. So the first one is idhar. And the second one that we're going to go to now is idram. Okay, that's the second rule. And we're going to go to the other two rules some other time. Now, idram has how many types? Two, two types. One and two. This one has gunna, and this one has no gunna. Let's do like this. No gunna. Okay? Now, the next line... Um, the second line goes, this one. This one. This one. This one. This Biyanmu Ulima. Sorry. Okay, it says, Lakin Naha. I'm not gonna write this all over because we wrote this last week. However, it it meaning the idram is of two types. A type that has runna, yudrama, that you put runna in there. Fihi, you put runna, yudrama, fihi. That's the end of the sentence right there. Fihi birunnatin biyan mu ulima. Then he says, birunna with this fihi birunnatin biyan. It's not the end right there actually. Fihi birunnatin biyan mu ulima. So yan mu here it points to the ya, the noon, the mim, and the wow, like we earlier said. Ulima means know these two points. Okay? Know that point. After we get through with this, we go on to the next point. Anybody have a problem with that? What it means is those four letters. What are the four letters? The four letters are ya, noon, meme, wow. You can remember them by saying what word? Yanmu. Yan so we know uh, here is Ram has Runna in four letters. Ya, noon, meme, wow. Know that. You have to know that. Because when you do that, and we mentioned what is Runna. Runna is the sound that comes in your nose. How does it play out? It plays out when you recite. And we're going to get to that. Here in my book, I wrote some examples right away. But before I go to my examples, I want to go back to another thing. It says, illa, say illa, meaning there is no gunna. Illa, there is no gunna. Illa, either, kana. Kana here is for ithnan. Kana is for two. Meaning if these two letters, if the noon is sakana and one of the letters of yanmu come together, illa kana bikilmatin. Bikilmatin means in a word. Fala. Then do not tudrim. Do not make the runna kadunya thumma sinwan. Sinwanin tela. Okay, see, here it says, illa, say illa, illa, either, either, kana, 
You drag that aleph a little bit to make it clear that you're talking about aleph of name. Kana bikilmatin. You can say kalimatin, you can say kilmatin, you can say kulmatin. But kalimatin or kilmatin, they mean a word or a sentence. Kulmatin is a piece of earth that is hard, like a rock. So kilma or kelma is a word. In fact, you hear a lot of the, the, the Libyan brothers. When they hear something, they say, Kilma, they say, word, Kilma, Kilma, Kilma. They say, word, word. Just like they're from Brooklyn. You know, Kilma, Kilma, Kilma. You know, so you can pick that up. It's, and it's proper. Kilma, word. You know, just like that. So that's how you say that. Kilma. Fala. So then do not, Tudrim, then do not make Gunna. Gunna. When you see here noon comes before, uh, 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 yeah, comes after the noon. Here we have a noon, which is second, with a yeah, which is mutaharrik. The yeah, right here. Here we don't make runna. You do not make runna here. Why? Because they're in one word. Runna is only between two words. Remember, if hard was between in one word, right? Or it was between two words, right? Runna is only in between two words, not in the same word. If it comes in the same word, there is no runna. You pronounce that noon like idhar. Clearly and independent. You don't mix it. Okay? You don't mix the sound. They give two examples. Dunya. Say dunya. 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 Now say sinwanin. Sinwanin. I'm separating it there just for sound. If you come to the class, you have to recite. Okay? In, so. In new, in new only have one day, one day of okay. <laughs> Mashallah. The Anani Pular? Allah. It is Ahmed. It's a name. What language do you speak? Spanish. Do you speak Spanish? And English. And English. Okay. Well, then I said, yo, if you're in the class, you got, you got to recite. Okay? Okay? Okay, Sinwan in Tele. Sinwan in Tele. Sinwan in Tele here. If, if, even though Tele is just to complete the line, Tele actually means recite the two of them like that. Okay, we call it Tilewa. Okay, so it's, it's a play with words, you know. So then recite those two like that. Dunya. Dunya. Sinwan. So that's the rule right here. If it's in one word, there is no idram. It's only between two words. So now we're going to go look at runna. I mean, not runna. Astaghfirullah aladim. We're going to go look at idram in practice. Okay? We're going to do this thing in practice now. <clears throat> so we go through the rule. Wathani idramun bisittatin atat. Let me go over it again. six letters. Fi yarmaluna indahum qad thabatat. In the word yarmaluna, indahum, inda, Allah, according to the people of Ada. Ada, you're going to hear this word all the time when you read in the books and when you talk to the scholars. Ada means scholars of Ada are the ones who do the performance and the recitation and the present presentation of the Quran. Ahlul Ada. So according to them, qad thabatat. It's firm, these six letters. Illa idha kana. However, it's of two types. Qismun yudgama. One part has idram bigunna. What is idram? Idram is dakhala shay fi shay. What is idram? Dakhala shay fi shay. Even if you don't know what that means, learn it. That's the rule. Idram is dakhala shay fi shay. What is it? Dakhala shay fi shay. It means to enter something into something else. See how I entered my hand into my sleeve? Adhramtuhu. I made I made idram of my hand in my sleeve. I emptied my hand into my sleeve until it became one. Until it became one. 